Hey, Miles here at Tactile Hive, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you a very simple technique that will dramatically improve your accuracy within a matter of minutes. Your average shooter is not aware of this technique, so if you wanna know how to improve your accuracy today, stay tuned. Welcome back. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna share a technique with you that not a lot of shooters are aware of. And this technique will literally improve your accuracy within minutes if you put in the practice and you, and you truly understand it. But rest assured, this is something that once people learn this, probably within a day, most shooters see marked improvement. In our classes, we share this technique and this is something that when the shooters apply this technique, they're shooting, versus their shootout, okay, they do a comparison, it's like night and day. This has to do with something you've probably already heard, and that is prepping your trigger, right? Getting to that wall. We already know what that means. For a lot of shooters, they do. So if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I am going to demonstrate this, kind of write it down so you, got, you have a visualization, but just in general, the Cliff Notes version is every trigger has a little bit of slack in the beginning. So you can see I'm pulling on this trigger, but nothing is happening, the shot's not breaking. That is referred to as the slack. You wanna take that slack away and go to what's called the wall. To illustrate this more, I'm going to actually write this down and uh, so you can visualize exactly what I'm talking about. Then I'll talk about the specific technique that we're going to cover. All right, so I have a target here, which I'm going to use as a piece of paper. I'm gonna use this Sharpie to illustrate what I'm talking about here. And I'm gonna use my gun here. You can have a close up to go over what's happening with the trigger. But we'll start off with a Sharpie because that's gonna be easier for you to understand or I should say C in uh, this video. I first learned this from JJ Ricaza about maybe three to four years ago. And interestingly, no one really talked about it back then. I'm happy to see this technique is beginning to spread around, but still the average shooter does not know about this and they should because it will immediately improve your accuracy. So as I talked about with every gun, there's going to be a wall here, okay? And after that wall, you can break the shot. I'm going to use two lines to represent two things here, okay? This will be rest of the trigger, and this is when it goes bang, okay? I'm just gonna use this as a line of travel for a trigger. So this is the trigger at rest, okay? It's literally right here, the trigger at rest, and the bang is when it actually goes bang, okay? We already talked about how every trigger is gonna have some kind of wall, some kind of slack. So using this drawing, it's not uh, to scale here. Let's pretend that there's a wall right here. All right. And most instructors teach this. It's not wrong. It's absolutely not wrong. I would say it's just not complete. And this technique I'm gonna show you, if you do use this, or I should say, if you do have the time and space, you absolutely should use this technique to ensure you have the utmost accuracy. So if we go back to this gun right here, I'm the, right now this is at rest. Nothing's happening with a trigger. I squeeze the trigger and I get to that first wall right here. This is the first wall, okay? But what's going to happen here is when I'm at the wall and I tell myself, okay, my brain goes, shoot the gun. I want that bullet to fire now. If we already established that this is the wall and this is when the gun goes bang, there is this time and space that stuff can happen. What can possibly happen in this period here? This is where you might add movement. You're inducing movement, maybe because you're a beginner or intermediate shooter, maybe you're nervous, whatever it is, maybe you're shaky. When your brain says shoot, the bullet does not go out yet. There's still some time and space. So what will happen is, okay, looking at this trigger here, I'm at the wall. And so if my brain, I'm gonna exaggerate the movement here. If my brain says, go, fire now, get that bullet out of the gun right now, I begin to pull the trigger, I might also add movement, and then now it goes bang. So what we need to do is understand our trigger so much and get to the point where we prep our trigger right before it breaks. This is just a, the Cliff Notes version. We dive into this a lot deeper in our in-person classes, but this is the overall technique that you want to explore. Most people will end here, but there's still going to be space. So you need to know your trigger and find out where it stops. 
So if you take a closer look at this trigger, okay, I'm going to be at that first wall. So now I'm right over there. Take a look at the trigger. I'm going to squeeze it more and you'll see there's movement. See how that there was movement and yet it did not go bang yet, did not go click. That's because I just take up, took up all this space here. Now I'm right over here. Now, if I breathe on this, if I just blow on it, it goes bang. So my brain says fire the gun and it fires now. That's what I want. Most people are, especially beginners and intermediate shooters, they think their sights are on target, they break the shot, they're like, why did I miss? It's because in this time and space again, right here in this time and space, it's not the gun that made a mistake. If you know your sights were on target, you most likely added some little movement here at the very end that made your shot go off. So it's important to understand your gun intimately, or say your gun's trigger. And every gun has a number of different walls. I will share this with you right now, for example, and this is something you're gonna have to explore on your own or come to a class, but stock locks, for example, 99.9% .9 of the time, they have three walls before it breaks. So it might look something like this. This might be the first, the second wall might be somewhere here, and then the third will be literally right before it breaks. So you need to intimately know your trigger and understand how to get to a fully prepped trigger. There is no universal term for it. We just like to refer to that as getting past all walls so that once you squeeze the trigger, the shot actually goes bang and there's no longer this time and space for you to mess up the shot. So now what I'm going to do is take some live fire shots. I'm gonna go over what I just discussed with you in more detail and from another angle. And by doing so, that might help you understand what I'm trying to convey a little bit better. All right, so I have a, a dueling tree downrange, which I'm going to use to demonstrate live fire in regards to what I've been talking about to emphasize some points. But before doing so, we wanna thank Laser Ammo for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with Laser Ammo, they are the world-class leader in high-end laser firearms training, and they have all sorts of fantastic training tools. From recoil-enabled airsoft pistols that shoot an IR laser or red laser to reactive laser targets, as well as smokeless ranges, they have a lot of great training tools and have been around for a very long time. If you watch some of my previous videos, I already talked about that laser ammo were some of the first training tools I ever picked up and I still use them today. So if you're not familiar with them or you're looking for some new dry fire training tools that will really help you, make sure to check them out in the description below. All right, so I have this dueling tree about uh, seven, eight yards away, and I'm going to exaggerate what I just talked about here. So I'm gonna load and make ready. This will make a lot more sense here as I talk about it. I'm aiming at that top plate here, okay? I'm going to do what's traditionally taught. I'm going to place my finger on the trigger and I'm going to go to the wall. Now remember, based on that drawing, if I go to the wall, that's not exactly right before the shot is going to break. So there's still going to be some time and space before the gun goes bang. So if I'm at the wall here and I'm at that top plate, I'm going to exaggerate the movement here. And let's say I'm a nervous shooter, a beginner shooter. So in my mind, I think the gun is gonna go bang. So I am going to pull on that trigger, but what's, what's going to happen is before the gun actually goes bang, I'm moving the gun. I'm exaggerating here. This could be for a beginner shooter, this could be a little shake at the end and the bullet veers. But what's gonna happen here, I'm at the wall. I'm gonna do this in slow motion, for example, where I'm talking through. So in my mind, I go, okay, bang. But before the gun goes bang, I begin to move and it shoots off course. I exaggerate the movement, of course, here, okay? So once again, I'm at the wall and I'm thinking, okay, my sights are on there. I know I should have hit it, but when I want the gun to go bang, I miss because there's that time and space where your gun is moving. So now if I go to the wall and you can't really see this clearly because there's only about a millimeter um, of, of uh, movement to I, till I get to a fully prepped trigger. But now I'm going to get to a fully prepped trigger here, okay? So now there is no more time and space. If I squeeze this trigger, the gun is going to hit. So notice what's gonna happen here. Even though I moved the gun after, okay, I, I tried to move the gun, I already hit the target because when I want the gun to go bang, it's going bang. So I'm gonna do this again here without getting to a fully prepped trigger. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to squeeze the trigger. I missed because I started to move. Right now I'm going to get to a fully prepped trigger. I hit it. Okay. I hit the target because when my mind says shoot, the gun actually shoots. 
So this is just reinforcing what I talked about here. You need to understand where your fully prepped sugar is. Remember, that's not a universal term, but you need to do this dry. Understand it dry first, and then live fire will be your validation. One more time here, incorrectly. So I'm gonna aim for that second plate. I'm gonna induce some movement here. Oh, I missed because when I pulled the trigger, the gun wasn't at a fully prepped trigger here. Now I'm at a fully prepped trigger and I hit it. Everything looks good. So I hope you guys like that technique. It will dramatically improve your accuracy very fast if you understand how to get to a fully prepped trigger. No longer should you be satisfied with just getting to the wall. If you have the time and space to do so, get to that fully prepped trigger. So when you want that gun to go bang, it will actually go bang. It's important to do this dry first and understand your gun intimately. All guns are different. All guns will have a number of different walls. Some will have some creeps, so you need to understand that, but work on this. We dive into this a lot more in our classes. We really go in depth and really learn how to find it for your particular gun, but that is the Cliff Notes version. That's enough for you to start exploring and really begin to determine where this last wall is. I hope you guys liked the video, and if you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave us some comments below if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.